Hello, hello, my name is Kyla D and you are watching Freedom Revamped. If you don't know my face, my name is Kyla D, like I said before, and I am a student, I am an entrepreneur, I am a philanthropist, I am an activist, I am all that. Um, and but more importantly, I am just a person. I am just real. I am just me. And and I think that's important for, for the videos you're about to watch because we're going to be taking, we're going to be talking. We're going to be getting to, to this tea, honey. We we have some stuff to discuss, okay? And this is very just, you know, us talking. I want to be real with y'all. And I want y'all to be able to be real with me. If you got to feel like you're talking to me, comment or do whatever you need to do to just talk and just be Sometimes we don't want to hear from our teachers and sometimes we don't want to hear from our pastors, even though, you know, I love God. Um, sometimes we just want to hear from people that are like us. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here to motivate because I am just like everybody else. I I, I make mistakes just like everybody else. And it, it's, it feels refreshing to hear motivational things from people who are going through the same thing as we're going, to, going through. So without further ado... We are going to be jumping into our first topic today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So the first topic we are jumping into is called taking up space. Taking up space. That's a big one. That is a huge, huge topic. So before we begin this topic, you heard the topic. I want you to take three deep breaths in because... I know, I know me, I got, I, I think about 3,000 things racing through my head if I hear this is what we're going to be talking about. So in order to clear your thoughts, I know y'all got a lot going on in that head of y'all's. So we're just going to take three, three, three deep breaths. Okay. So let's breathe in one time. Let's breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in breathe out that just gave us a time to kind of recense ourselves back into what we're discussing today so again we will be discussing taking up space and when i think about taking up space the first thing i think about is what space do i want to take up and i'll be introducing you to our well my method of kind of organizing those things called my root versus motivation method so the root versus motivation method is exactly what it sounds like when you're rooted in something, you are you stand firm on it. That is that that's your tree, you know. Your tree is the reason the branches grow. So the tree is the root, the the leaves are the motivation. Your 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 leaves grow because of the tree. The tree doesn't grow because of the leaves. And and that's how I kind of look at life. I feel as though you're rooted in something. You have to be firm in something so for me i want to disclose that i am rooted in god of course you know that is my center that that's you know my root also i'm rooted in legacy so generational wealth um generational curse breaking um things like that like i'm really rooted in that i feel like that's ultimately the reason i do the things we do well i do the things i do um yeah so for me, when I think about God, I think about I am motivated to to pray. I am motivated to to give testimonies. I'm motivated to do motivational speeches. I'm motivated to do all these things because I am rooted in God. And and that's just that's just how I look at it. Now I'm gonna take it out of the biblical sense. For those who, you know, have different religions. That's not nothing wrong over here, baby. We love everybody. God love everybody. We we do all that over here. So let's take it as far as working out. Now, a lot of people think working out is a root. That is not a root. That is motivation. Let me tell you how, how you can identify it. If you put health as your root, that is that is a root health because then that embodies everything you're doing into being healthy so you're working out working out is a motivation um eating right is a motivation going to the gym is a motivation these are all motivations for being healthy this is your root your motivation always leads back to your root your root is is essentially why you do things like i said motivations are 
how do you do those things to get to that? So that and also going back to my experience as far as legacy goes, I, I, I'm a heavy believer in legacy and creating our own path for people, especially people of color, and especially for women of color, uh, especially going further, black women, <laughs> Okay, especially for black women, creating legacies should be very, very, very important to us. So for me, legacy, uh, what motivate? I'm motivated by creating businesses. I am motivated by creating content. I am motivated by going to school. I am motivated by getting my degree. These are all things that I feel that would lead back to my legacy. And that is just a great way I think about when I think about taking up space. I think about what I'm rooted in and understand that is the reason I am taking up the space. Now, your root is your space. That's that's what that's the key. That's the trick. Your root is your space. You, your root is your space. So when you think about. Like I said before, I, I'm a heavy believer in legacy and I create my businesses and things like that. I am not a STEM major. I don't know nothing about math unless it got to do with money. I cannot, I cannot solve, can, I cannot cure cancer, honey. I'm, I'm not that girl. So, so I can, I cannot go into a space like that and feel like I belong in that space and feel like I can take it up. See, a lot of times we, we go into these spaces and try to take it up and we don't belong in those spaces. And you're probably thinking, Kyla, what, what you mean I don't belong in that space? I am, I am this. Listen to what I'm saying. We often feel uncomfortable to take up spaces because we don't belong in that space in the first place. Our space is not rooted in somebody else's space. Now, since I am rooted in legacy and things like that, I can go into a stem. I can go into a stem place and and say, look, I can't tell you how to cure cancer, but I can tell you how we are gonna start this business. And I can tell you how you can help future generations, and I can do this for you. Then you are able and free to take up space because you have created it your own. The goal is to always that that's the end goal is to create your own space based on your root. If you are an arguer, you go be the best darn arguer you can and make space for that. Make, be a lawyer, be an advocate, be an activist, be in those spaces, create your own space so you feel comfortable enough to take it up. You cannot take up a space you are not comfortable enough to take up with. You can't. You can't. So people think, oh, you just have to be confident in that. That will take up space. No, that is not going to take up space. I can tell you what is going to take up space and what, what will. It's knowing that you know what you know. If you are, if you know you can cure cancer, by God, dog, if you cure cancer, be confident in that. Be rooted in that. Be rooted in whatever you are rooted in. If you're, if you're rooted in health and you're rooted in health for everybody, honey, that is your motivation. Your motivation is your space. Everything embodies that. Knowing, knowing your space and allowing others to create their own is the simple way to take it up. I create a space because I want others like me to create a space. Not to create my space. Not to be in my way, all right? Not to be, not to be in my space. Cause this is, I got a lot going on in this bubble, you know what I'm saying? But to be able to create their own space. So take up space and take it up in the best way you know how to do. Take up space that you create. Take up space that, that nobody else can take away from you. We get, un, we get unsure about our spaces when we feel like somebody else is going to take them away. But nobody can take away what you build. So, so what I want you guys to leave off with. A little homework, if you will. And so, you know, on this video, so you see this beautiful face on your screen again. Is to write down your roots versus your motivations. It doesn't have to be all in one sitting. Because if you like me, I get distracted. It doesn't have to be all in one sitting. It can be one day here, one day here, and one day here. It can be months from now. Don't make it months from now. But you get what I'm saying. Um, 
Yeah, write down your roots versus your motivations and see what I'm good at this. I Why am I good at this? Because I want to do this and get to know yourself so you can take up the spaces and you can be confident enough to take up the spaces. Be you don't have to be you don't have to be good at everything. Be good at what you're great at. Or be great at what you're good at. Embody that. Take up space based on that. And I assure you, taking up space will never be a problem again. Especially for anybody who feel like they feel like they don't belong in that space. Now, if you feel now, if you know you belong in that space, and you feel like you you should be in that space, create a space for your own in that space. If you're a biologist and you're at a, a chemist convention, Break down how bio biology and chemistry can work together and create your own lab. That's better. Create your own lab, okay? That's how you take up space. Create your own lab and nobody can take it away from you. But we're just going to wrap up this video. I hope you are blessed. I hope you continue to be healthy with this, this corona going around, okay? Just, just be safe and just take into account you deserve the space you take up because you created it. And you can't you can't take away. The only person that can take away that space is you. So it's no more competition. You, you are the creator of your space. So bless you guys. Be safe. All this stuff. Peace out again. This is Freedom Re.